Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel, Miss Reamy Healings, my name is Reem. Welcome into the magical month of December, a magical month of December, welcome. <laughs> I have my beautiful, my little unicorn, I was gifted this from a beautiful friend of mine and I have my unicorn shirt on, just feeling extra magical today. <laughs> So, um, and actually I, when I was putting this on, there's a picture of Saturn on the design of this shirt. And we're gonna talk about the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn taking place on December 21st, the winter solstice. There's no coincidences here. There's a lot going on. Um, we're going to talk through some data, some channeled messages, some facts. Um, we're gonna talk about the December 14th solar eclipse. We're also going to talk about the new moon in Sagittarius that's taking place at 1616 UTC time. And if you add 1616 together, you get 14. No coincidences, it's happening on the 14th. <laughs> um, and we're also going to talk about the December 21st winter solstice, all right, and the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn on the 21st. So there is a really busy time in the sky happening this month. Um, it's, it's extremely magical and I did a lot of research and got a lot of channeled messages. I'm going to take you through that. If you want to flow with me, continue watching. If you want to just go directly to your reading that I'm going to tie all this information to, you can check out the timestamps below, okay? So um, some of the channeled messages that I received from Spirit, they told me and the cycle continues. They also said turning point, spiritual nutrition, and they said distorted frequencies are being imprinted with new energy. So I've been kind of um, just meditating on what these channeled messages are. As we know, and the cycle continues, we're continuously going through change, continuously going through cycles, just like the cosmos, just like the planets and their cycles we go through cycles as well, just like our natural world and the seasons changing. So things are continuous. Okay, this is a continuum. Turning point, they actually gave me no information on, they just said turning point. So this we're gonna channel probably for your reading. Um, each turning point is going to be different for everybody, I think. But collectively, in the collective consciousness, this is really talking to me about renewal, okay? And we'll get into some of that in just a little bit. Spiritual nutrition is really interesting because I've been talking about this for quite some time about spiritual health, being careful of who you watch, what you watch, what you listen to, um, the energy that you are ingesting and surrounding yourself within your energetic space, as well as the energy that you are giving out. Um, really taking care of your spirit is very, very important at this time. And not only that, this ties into um, the next point of a new energy that is being imprinted on the distorted frequencies that's causing this transmutation and shift and change. But this new energy is like, it's nutritious, it's, uh, it's healthy, is what they're telling me. So, um... All of this is going to tie into your reading. So let's get into the December 14th solar eclipse. Um, so the solar eclipse on the December 14th is conjunction Mercury. Uh, and you know, Mercury is all about controversy, wind, communication. It is trine Mars, which is all about um, destruction and creation. And it is sex square, sex Quiz square, if I'm saying that correctly, <laughs> Uranus, um, which is all about disruption, change, and disturbances. Um, and it is, it is also square Neptune, all about confusion and chaos. So just a little bit of terminology for you guys if you're interested, because I had to look this up. Trine is just the angle of 120 degrees. Trine also relates to what is natural and indicates harmony and indicates ease. Um, Sesquisquare, Sesquisquare <laughs> is an aspect in which two planets are separated by an angle of 135 degrees. 
So during the solar eclipse, a lot of secrets are going to be revealed, truths that are going to be revealed, especially since we're in the month of December. Things are going to be brought into the light. Darkness is going to be released and they're just telling me right now, the darkness that's released are these distorted frequencies, okay, that are being imprinted with the new energy that is coming in. Um, and we're also here to embrace the darkness, okay, we're not all light, we are light and dark. So a lot of you are understanding um, the low vibrational darkness, so to speak, of the distorted frequencies um, that we have been healing through okay through shadow work or other means of healing and um, we are embracing the darkness we're also going to be seeing opportunities that are going to be highlighted for us okay so the opportunities that are highlighted for you there's a real need to focus on what it is that you want which we'll talk about in just a little um, collectively right now the world has had its many shares of darkness so collectively, the world has had its many shares of darkness, and this pandemic is, is one of them, as we know. So we are going into the new year together because we are experiencing, you know, darknesses together collectively. We are also going to be experiencing renewal of the collective consciousness together. Okay, so this goes back to, you know, as we recede back to self, we are also receding back to unity and oneness, okay? There is no such thing as being separate. All right, so let's get into now the new moon in Sagittarius on December 14th at 1616, which is also 14 on UTC time. So there's a great need to search for something new. We are seeing something new in our lives and also within ourselves okay so going back to what was said earlier um truths are going to be revealed secrets are going to be revealed not only collectively within the consciousness but also within ourselves and in our own lives and experiences okay we are um we are being guided to set new goals and missions we are being guided to do things that give our life and ourselves meaning okay um we're also being guided to be optimistic okay and things will get better even if you're in trouble so in the meaning of 1616 when i was looking it up um said to let go of concerns so within the self focus on emotions focus on yourself focus on your inner work new energies will be entering your life which will lead to a renewed enthusiasm okay that's what 1616 means and so you can as i continue talking about the research that i've been doing you can see the common theme are new energies um, 1616 encourages you to ask for assistance in repairing or readjusting to something that may be hindering or bothering you and causing anxiety. In love, 1616 may also be suggesting that a new relationship is imminent either with a newcomer or through, or through reignited love in your existing connection. Be open to giving and receiving love and do not fear the new entering your life. 1616 also means a blessing hope love encouragement and peace beautiful let's talk about the great conjunction of jupiter and saturn so jupiter and saturn conjunction great conjunction it happens every 20 years and we're in the year 2020 the last time it happened was in 2000 and the closest Jupiter and Saturn conjunction since 1623. Why they call it the Great Conjunction is because this is the meeting of the two biggest worlds in our solar system, okay, and they're called the gas giants. <laughs> is it a coincidence that the Great Conjunction is happening during the winter solstice? I don't think so. 
again, there's no coincidences. There's a lot of synchronicities here happening in the busy time <laughs> of the sky. Um, so there's a lot of alignments here happening. Um, you will actually be able to see Jupiter and Saturn um, if you have a telescope, okay? And Jupiter and Saturn will only be less than a degree, so about 0 0.1 degrees apart, and that's just about one-fifth of a full moon diameter. So through the naked eye, the planets appear as one. So I thought this was a really interesting fact. So through the naked eye, planets appear as one. Through binoculars or through a telescope, you'll be able to see them uh, separately in the same field of view. You might also, actually you will see, so if you, if you have a telescope, um, one of the research said you'll see Saturn's rings you'll see its giant moon Titan and Jupiter you'll see the Galilean moons of Ganymede, Lo, Callisto and Europa. Jupiter as we know is associated with growth, expansion, healing, good fortune and miracles. Saturn is as we know is associated with karma, discipline, responsibility, structure, law and the understanding of our restrictions. I also got channeled when I was kind of looking at Saturn and as I put on my unicorn shirt and Saturn is in the design, they said the power of reward. So that was really interesting. So now the solstice. So this is a really big milestone. It's also a very important milestone. As you know, it's the shortest day of the year and the longest night. This is a powerful transition point between the seasons and it's really interesting that as I was reading this and we've been getting lots of channeled messages about transitions and change, this is a really powerful transition point. So now they're telling me it's connected to what they channeled to me about turning point. Okay. Um, in ancient civilizations, during a winter solstice, they took full advantage of this unique energy. So doing lots of rituals is recommended at this time, probably for the entire month of December. Um, this energy, you know, take the advantage of rituals if you do rituals. We are guided to celebrate, okay? And we're guided to celebrate the longest hours of darkness and the rebirth of the sun that holds a power, powerful energy of regeneration, renewal, and self-reflection. We are also guided to celebrate goddess moon energy. So back in the day, winter solstice was also um, referred to as the Yule, and it was believed that the moon would give birth to the sun. Okay, so this is very symbolic of <laughs> the new energy that's being birthed, okay? The regeneration, the renewal, and the self-reflection. As we, you know, transition, this is our powerful transition point. If we're just talking about ourselves, not talking, you know, we're connected to the planets and everything else, connected to the earth, everything is shifting and changing and we're part of that shift and change. But we are being birthed renewed, okay? This is all part of our transformations, our metamorphosis, everything that we've been channeling up to this point. Okay, there's that word again, point. <laughs> so I love that. I want to read that point again. Back in the day, they believed that the moon would give birth to the sun, this goddess moon energy. Like, how powerful is that? Isn't that so magical? Anyway, so symbolic. Um, anyway, so celebrate yourself, okay? Such an important thing to do, celebrate yourself. Don't forget to celebrate you, okay? You are not separate from these divine and cosmic energies, all right? So take full advantage of this time every day, all day, not just this time, but please, as a reminder, celebrate yourself. There's also this sense of quiet energy during the winter solstice, um, you know, of going within, inner reflection, and they channel to me the invisible phase. 
the invisible phase. There's something invisible, there's something that you can't see that's taking place but is happening. Okay, the invisible phase, probably the invisible phase of transition. Okay, we don't see the transition but it's happening, we feel it. We don't necessarily see it until it comes to full fruition but this is the phase of transition. Um, light your way through the darkness, okay? Buy black candles to um, meditate, you know, as the color black signifies the darkness and just embrace the darkness and celebrate yourself. I hope you guys, um, you know, got something from this. So uh, lots of synchronicities, lots of alignments, and so I'm going to now get into your reading. So I hope you guys enjoyed that um, fun, factual information about the busy time in the sky. Thank you. Hello, beautiful Aries. Welcome into your reading. So we're going to look into the oracles first. This is the wisdom oracle. I also want to look at the animal oracle for you, see what messages we get there. We're just going to go with the flow, see what you need to know at this time during this beautiful month, magical month of December with all of the busy energies that we just talked through. If you watch the beginning of the video, um, all of the busy energy in the universe, in the sky. Okay, for Aries, what do you need to know? Thank you, Archangel Michael, for your protection. Thank you, ancestors known and unknown. Thank you, Spirit of the Most High. Beautiful. A change in the wind. That is beautiful. This is number 12. Very significant of the month of December. Okay, this is also number 3. And the stripes. Very significant of your uniqueness. You're different different is beauty that's what's so beautiful about each and every one of you i really feel like this month you're embracing yourself and you're going with the flow i did talk about um the solar eclipse is in conjunction with mercury and um, mercury as we know is all about communication and wind air energy so this is you really self-expressing who you are and you are going with the flow of change you're going with the flow i don't feel like you're resisting change i feel like you're going with the flow this is interesting <laughs> they're like wait um there's a leg up at the bottom oh powerful look at this regeneration underneath that <gasps> wow look how beautiful this card is regeneration and if you watched the beginning of the video um, we talked about regeneration and renewal energies being really heavy heavily prominent in this month of December um, this is number 46 which is also number 10 okay completion and renewal energy so you're definitely changing here you're definitely transforming you could be completing a transformation okay coming out of a transformation renewed this is very significant of new energies being birthed within yourself and also reflected in your reality okay with a leg up this is a help this could be friends helping you family helping you spirit helping you the universe helping you okay Someone's favorite animal are polar bears. All right. Lots of animals here. No wonder why I want to go to the animal spirit for you. There's also a, a, a shamanic ancestor coming through here. They come to you in an animal spirit. Okay, if you have a, um, this is specific if you have um, an indigenous lineage. Okay, so that won't resonate with all of you. That's just a message for someone out there. One more shuffle. I just saw another bear spirit when I was shuffling. 
Um, wow, you have the elephant spirit. Learn from the past. Number 25. So we have another seven here. You could be seeing 777. Okay. Yeah, so this is this is why there's a change in the wind. You're learning from the past, and I feel like you're closing out the past. You're closing out that chapter, and you're starting a new one here in your regenerative cycle, okay? Elephant spirit, this is also Lord Ganesh, okay, of removing obstacles. So if you feel like you have a lot of obstacles in your life right now, um, those are going to be removed, okay? And that's the leg up from spirit. That's the help from spirit for some of you. Okay, very beautiful. So let's get into the light seers tarot and see what other messages we have for you. I always sneeze when I channel. All right, one more shuffle for Aries. So again, if you watched the beginning of the video, um, I know that some of you just clicked your reading, which is fine. Um, but what is standing out to me, because I, I tie a lot of that information to your reading, that's why I have that information out there um, in the beginning, uh, just to talk about all of these changes and, and energies. But during the winter solstice you know back in the day people believed that the goddess moon energy gave birth to the sun and the sun is all about renewal and regeneration so this is very symbolic of your rebirth okay and you're going with the flow of these transitions you have the lovers gemini energy Okay, so let's shuffle, see what other messages need to come through for you. All right, <laughs> you have judgment, beautiful. I'm also seeing Sagittarius energy come through. Um, Leo, strength. Wow, you have three major arcanas right away. I'm definitely feeling a continuum, okay, a continuous cycle here. A good continuous cycle of change, okay? And you're going with the flow of it. You're surrendering to it. You're embracing it here with judgment. I feel like you're calling yourself forward. Calling yourself forward. Focusing on your strengths. And even focusing on your weaknesses for improvement. You have the Ace of Cups, beautiful. Self-love, your heart chakra is opening. Knight of Swords, heart chakra healing. I'm also seeing relationships in your life being improved, okay? Through self-love, you find improvements in all areas in your life. This is part of a change in the wind. Eight of Pentacles. The tower, that change, that transformation, this regeneration. Look at these, look how similar these energies are. This is an Oracle deck. This is a tarot deck, completely different um, artists, if I'm not mistaken, too. Look at that. Such a beautiful synchronicity and confirmation from the divine to you that this is your transformation, that this is your metamorphosis. Look at the butterflies coming out of this tree trunk that has been struck by lightning. This is very symbolic of enlightenment, this lightning energy. This is also divine redirection, okay? Divine intervention. Why are they intervening? Because 
there's change in the wind. They want you to flow with it. Because it's taking you to complete the cycle of transformation. Look at the butterflies. Again, very symbolic of metamorphosis and transformation. This is also sudden. And to me, I'm really seeing this tower energy here as now energy. This is now energy. And this type of energy cannot be changed. This is universal energy. This is the universe. That's the cosmos. <laughs> you can't change that kind of energy. You just have to go with go with it and don't you know we can delay it by resisting and restricting ourselves but your guidance here is to go with the flow a change in the wind this is a redirection and intervention here some of you are also opening your heart to change or to new beginnings and new cycles maybe even opening yourself up to love okay Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> yes, opening yourself, yourself up to new beginnings. The Ace of Pentacles. Some of you are moving. There's a lots of movement here happening, I feel like, for the new year. This Ace of Pentacles is something tangible. This is also a job for some of you. Maybe not this month. For some of you, actually, you know what? For some of you, it is this month. Because the um, tower was right beside the ace, the eight of pentacles. They corrected me. They said, mm, it, it'll happen faster for someone. Okay, the tower, eight of pentacles. With the ace of pentacles, this is a, a job for someone that you've been working hard for. Maybe you've been applying. Okay, so for some of you, you're going to get a job offer this month. There might be some travel that's required for some of you. Um, others of you... There's no travel, but this is a new job offer. Okay. Some of you will have to make a decision on that here with the King of Swords. Okay, so being very clear with what you want, speaking what you want, getting what you want, but also being open for it. Okay, being open for it. There's a lot of, um, what am I saying? Generosity here. <laughs> Mine went blank. Lots of generosity here with the Six of Pentacles. Give and take energy. I'm seeing the infinity sign in both of these cards here with strength and the six of pentacles. So very symbolic of the end is the beginning, the beginning is the end. Okay, this regeneration process, this continuum of change, okay? We're constantly changing, we're constantly shifting, we're constantly transforming. Okay. When I was, um, again, in the beginning of the video, um, if you didn't watch it, um, there was, uh, there's a new moon in Sagittarius that's taking place at 1616 UTC time. And I had to look up the meaning of 1616. And um, there were a whole bunch of, you know, beautiful meanings of what 1616 means. And one of them, um, it, as it pertains to love, was a new person or a new romance relationship imminent, okay? So you might start seeing 1616 for some of you, okay? So I am seeing something new here with the Ace of Cups and the Tower. So something ending shifts and creates a new beginning, opens your heart up and someone new comes in, okay? That could be a message for some of you. Not all of you, some of you. For some of you, a lot of love in your life, like your relationships are, are becoming stronger, are improving, okay? Are strengthening. So lots of bonds and relationships here are strengthening in your life. Family, friends, take what resonates. Especially here with strength, the bonds. I definitely feel like you're working on these relationships as well here with the Eight of Pentacles. I'm also seeing you doing a lot of rituals this month of December. 
okay um, I'm seeing someone receiving a lot of feathers so these are spiritual messengers I'm seeing a bird here in the Knight of Swords card I'm seeing that you're running towards something here with the Knight of Swords. This could also be quick communication from um, either this job offer that you're getting or someone new that's coming in for you. Someone wants to offer you a tangible commitment for some of you, not all of you. I definitely feel like you're surrendering. Again, as mentioned, you're surrendering to this change in the wind. You're going with the flow of this change. I feel like a lot of things are shifting and changing for you, Aries, and you are just going with it. And Spirit is here helping you, giving you a leg up, okay? Giving you this boost. Kind of also encouraging you to move, okay? Swords, also air energy, wind energy. Look at this swift movement. Oops. Look at that swift movement. <laughs> So dramatic. Okay. So you're definitely moving. You're definitely moving here. Where the wind takes you, where you feel guided to, where you feel led to. And more, more wind and air energy here with the King of Swords. I definitely see an evolution. It's like you're going from the Knight of Swords to the King of Swords. You're being more clear for what you want. You're seeing things more clearly in your life of what's good for you, what's not good for you, what you deserve, what you need versus what you want. I'm also seeing you taking a lot of time out, okay? You also have two aces here, one, one. You could be seeing one, one, one. You could also be seeing 11, 11. So I love that the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles is here. New beginnings. New changes. Changes taking you through to your new beginnings. You're working really hard here, Eight of Pentacles. I also feel like for some of you, you are um, perfecting your craft. Okay, so if you're really good at something, you're perfecting that. You're becoming even better, all right? And that's going to open um, you up to new possibilities and new opportunities here with the tower. It's going to create a really wonderful and big shift. For some of you, you're receiving a lot of downloads, lots of information. Okay, there's lots of communication here from spirit or from your higher self. Um, maybe you're seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities. Also, I talked about the birds, about being spiritual messengers. A lot of you are receiving flowers. Oh, what am I saying? Flowers? Feathers. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, so maybe some of you are going to receive flowers. I don't know. Um, or maybe you're, you have an indoor garden. Okay. You're surrounded with this beautiful earth energy. It gives you fresh air. There's a lot of air and uh, wind energy around you. Um, I can feel it, especially with this a change in the wind card. Um, some of you may also have air in your chart. Okay, take a look at where it is in your placement. It could be relevant for some of you. Um, let me see if, any, if I get any other messages. I think this is all I have for you, beautiful Aries. Such a beautiful message of change and you're definitely going with the flow of it. Continue to do the work of learning and healing, releasing and closing the past because there are definitely new chapters that are awaiting, okay? New chapters that are awaiting. And this is such a beautiful time to do, you know, the close of the past as we enter the new year. So um, really, really beautiful. I hope this resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching.